வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஐபி மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இந்த செஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் ஆன் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் வெர்ஷன் அகெயின் லைக் எ பில் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் வெர்ஷன் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ரெக்வயர்ட் வென் வி வாண்ட் டு எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் த பில் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல் டூரிங் சப் கான்ட்ராக்டிங் ப்ராசஸ் பிகாஸ் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் வெர்ஷன் இஸ் மேட் அஸ் மேண்டேட்ரி இன் எஸ் ஃபார் ஹானா in this session we will discuss how to create and validate production version before going into the session let us see the answers for the quiz we discussed in the last session what are the prerequisites to create a bill of material so we need to have metal master for header and child materials then the metal type should have the bym allowed option then usage of bym we should know what is the effective date of bym that we should know whether it is alternate bym or not also whether engineering change management required or not and what should be the status of bym those things we should know as the prerequisite to create the bill of material a multi level bym can be created in one step true or false false a bym can be created in single level only after that a parent child relationship will be built to create to have multi level bym for example we create one parent metal then you create the bym with the one child material and then you create that child metal as the parent metal create another bym with another child material so that the link will be created then we will get the multi level bill of materials one material is having more than one bym how can it be managed it can be managed through alternate bill of material we can use alternate bill of material 1 2 3 like this we can have the number of bums we can handle what is the t code to view level by level bill of material cs11 can we maintain bum for a metal with base quantity of more than 1 yes it is possible what is the t code to view multi level bum it is cs12 what is the importance of bum status bum status decides whether the bum is allowed for mrp plant order creation costing like this many actions if proper status is not maintained bum may not be explored or it will not be open as per our requirement what is the t code to view summarize bum the t code is cs13 what are the different item codes sorry item categories used in bum so here we have l stock item d document item k class item n stock item or variable size item and there are many other item categories what is the t code to compare two different bums it is cs14 what is the t code to find out where a metal is used in which bum the t code is cs15 hope this quiz was useful for you to understand bill of materials so now we will discuss production version So what is production version Production version is a way to produce a product with the combination of bill of materials and routing right so production version denote different ways by which a company can produce a material for example a metal having one routing but multiple bill of materials then we need a uh, production version if metal may be having uh, multiple bums but one routing then also we need to production version here you see the example there is a material where there is one routing one bym which is linked with the, the routing is linked to the one work center so we are having one production version the same material it may be produced with the same routing but different bym right so then we need to have second production version and then the metal may be produced with different routing different bym and then we need to have different production version so this is same material it may you may ask how your same product may be produced with different versions just i give an example for example if you are packing a product right if you are packing a product packing can be done in a packaging machine where you have the packing uh, input as a rolls the packaging metal as a rolls so that is you taking input as roll the bym is a packaging roll but the same metal can be packed with the same packing but with the manual packing where will be giving the cut pouches of the packing it is a manual packing so there the routing is also different that uh, bill of metal is also different but the same product is produced right so like this there will be different combinations to produce a product 
sometimes there may be some uh, product which is produced in a, a factory there is a highly automated line there may be old line right because they do the advanced uh, improvements they do some investment at the same time they want to use the old facility also in the old facility production may be done in three four machines sequence one by one but in the new automated machine one machine will take care of all the operations so one product is produced in the different ways in these two different kind of production lines right so but we have to handle them it is only one product right so for this kind of differentiation we have the production version right so now this is how just understanding what is production version is not important right just understanding production version is not important you have to understand what is the production version how the production version can be applied that is what we need to understand right so whenever we go and meet as a consultant to users or if you are using uh, already sap please evaluate are you using different routings or different production version properly are using it please validate them right so now production version is it mandatory that's a question mark in ecc version of sap production version is mandatory for process and disease and repetitive manufacturing it is not mandatory for discrete manufacturing production version is not mandatory for discrete manufacturing in ecc but in case of s4 hana production version is mandatory for all including discrete manufacturing that is wherever there is a bill of metal explosion we should have production version if there is no production version bill of metal will not get exploded please take note of it this is the main difference which is brought to s4 hana many people are thinking s4 hana is something very new thing like that no as a database as a technology wise it's excellent thing functions wise if you are strong in ecc you don't worry whether it is ecc or s4 hana there are some small smaller differences which you can understand easily and proceed don't think that if you are not working in s4 hana you are not knowing it you know already the basic things right so s4 hana is this kind of differences we need to understand now coming back to production version s4 hana and r and s4 hana whatever it is production version is uh, used for the, the it may be a quantity range specific also for example you can create a production version where a quantity is between 1 to 1000 pieces another production version may be quantity more than 1000 pieces i told you example now old uh, line new line in the old line i will be producing the small quantity in the bigger line automatic line i will produce more quantity i will have two different production versions according to this also production version can be validity of the period also for example you can have a production version which is valid for jan to march another production version is valid for april to june like based on some seasonality or based on some natural production or based on some humidity also some kind of treatment units may be different for these things we can have different production versions so production versions are used to have multiple combinations with multiple dates quantity combination of bom routing etc i sincerely suggest you guys please practice these things in a system and understand the importance how to create the production version to create the production version in sap menu is given here like logistics production master data and the production version transaction is c223 now just we are going to create the production version here so to see the production version is attached to material or not it is available already then mrp4 view as shown here in mrp4 view you see that now the production version indicator now it is blank now we will create this then after uh, creation will come and see that what is happening with this blank okay now when you enter the c223 the production version the opening screen is uh, here where we have to enter the selection parameters like plant and materials after entering this if there is no production version it will appear in the bottom now second of as a empty so what you should do in this empty here you have to enter the details like which material you are creating what is the uh, production version number that is number you can give it you can give the production version uh, like a text also for example old line new line like that you can give it and then you tell what is the validity right validity period from period and to period and also what is the lot size and then if you go to the right side right there will be a bom there will be a routing selection those things also you have to enter after entering these things double click the line item when you double click the line item system will bring you to this page like this right here you have the first uh, tab right production version there is a lock field this, here this field is if it is not locked it can be used to for production and planning purpose if it is locked it cannot be used for the purpose so you can lock the production version also right already created three four production versions now one line is not created you need not delete all the production version one particular production version you can lock it so that it will not be used 
here you see all the that lot size and validity date what we entered there and also the routing details what we entered there is coming and also the alternate BOM details what we entered they are coming here these are the details we entered in the previous page now after entering all these things press check right when you enter this check now you see that the details of the task list which is a routing exists and also BOM exists this means that we entered some right details that's what is coming here now let us come back and see here in the uh, test you know it is showing green if you see here it is a test is showing green which means all the details are captured properly if there is some problem it will show in yellow as a warning or red in the error so that time we have to go and check whether the lot size given properly date given properly the BOM date routing date all these things are validity within this production validity all those things you have to get so these things should be aligned so as a person who is creating master data, you have to be very careful right so we have to check all these details right so by entering all these things we know that it is the details are okay with the green save it production version is created this is how we create the production version now we told now the production version metal master when you saw that there was no tick mark now you see the tick mark in the version indicator we can see right and also by clicking this production version button in the metal master itself it will take us to the page like this here you select the line and uh, select this details button you will see the routing uh, production version details here you see the BOM side that uh, routing also it is showing green, BOM is showing green. All these green means the production version is created and allocated properly. Right? This is how we create the production version and how to test the production version also. Both the things we discussed now. In S4 HANA, to create a production version in MOS, there is a program which is given here. The program name is given here. Now through program CSE38, enter the program name enter the material or associated plants or just entering the plant it will bring out all the materials so here we can simulate and check whether the BOM and routing and all clearly allocated and then we can save it I suggest you to please practice this yourself here I told you how to create production version what is the what are the parameters you need to check to for having a proper production version with this understanding you can do this activity on yourself without any problem right this is how you create the production version collectively also. So in this session, we discussed how to create production version, how to validate production version, what are the collective creation of production version. Let us see the quiz questions for this session. Is the production version mandatory in S4 HANA? What is the purpose of bill of materials in procurement? One metal can have more than one production version, true or false. Is it possible to create production version in MOS for many materials together? While creating a production version for subcontracting, which data have to be linked through production version? In the next session, we are going to the purchasing uh, core master data like business partner. Now, meanwhile, hope you uh, practice the bill of metal creation. Next, please create the production version for the case study materials. Meanwhile, please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents of our course and suggest your friends and colleagues to subscribe to our channel to gain the benefit of this knowledge sharing. Thank you. See you in the next session. Take care. Bye.